Breaking news. Beehive. Geyser in Yellowstone. Erupts violently amid magma shift beneath caldera. Yellowstone National Park, May 28, 2025. 10.37 a.m. MST. Yellowstone's iconic beehive geyser has erupted in a rare and violent display, sending a buffalo's roaring column of scalding water and superheated steam more than 200 feet into the sky, stunning onlookers and prompting urgent responses from geologists and park authorities. This is no ordinary hydrothermal event. Scientists at the USGS confirm that an underground shift in magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera may have influenced this Caused unusual outburst. a large outburst. number of new geysers to form and existing geysers to change their behavior. Rangers evacuated sections of the upper geyser basin. After seismic, monitors picked up an unusual pattern of harmonic tremors, typically associated with magma movement, beneath the geyser field just hours before the eruption. Beehive, known for its power but infrequent eruptions, detonated with an explosive force not seen in years. It was like a jet engine erupting from the Earth, said park visitor Daniel Lee who captured the moment on video. The ground vibrated, birds scattered. Everyone around oh, really just froze going. in awe and fear. The geyser's eruption lasted over five full minutes, shrouding the boardwalks in boiling mist and raising fears of deeper geological instability. According to the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in YVO, the magma chamber beneath the park has been showing signs of pressure reorganization, a process that can shift hydrothermal features and cause geysers to erupt unpredictably. Think of it as the Earth breathing heavily from below, said Dr. Helena Mears, YVO's lead volcanologist. It doesn't mean a volcanic eruption is imminent, but it is not normal. This geyser's behavior is being influenced by magma movement. While the park remains open under heightened alert status, Emergency response teams are preparing contingency plans in the event of further eruptions, or worse. Officials emphasize there is no current sign of a supervolcanic eruption, but the Beehive's fury could signal a new, unstable chapter in Yellowstone's underground drama. Alert! Kalawea Volcano erupts in Hawaii. Lava explodes from crater. As chaos echoes 2018. Big Island, Hawaii. May 28, 2025. 4.05 a.m. HST. Kalawea has erupted again. And this time, it is unforgiving. In the early morning hours, residents of Hawaii's Big Island awoke to a familiar but terrifying sight, a towering plume of lava and ash shooting hundreds of feet into the sky from the USGS-monitored Halemaumau crater, accompanied by ground shaking, tremors, and the low, deafening rumble of magma forcing its way to the surface. USGS sensors recorded a massive increase in seismicity late last night, followed by sudden crater deformation. Then, at precisely 3.14 a.m., the volcano blew.
Within minutes, lava began fountaining from multiple fissures, bursting into the air with terrifying force and lighting up the clouds above the crater in a crimson glow. The sound, it was like the earth was screaming, said Hilo resident Naomi Kaleo, who fled her home with her children at dawn. The sky turned orange and the air burned. It's 2018 all over again, but worse. The eruption quickly overwhelmed the crater boundaries, sending rivers of lava flowing toward residential. Zones near the Puna district. Civil defense sirens echoed across the region as thousands scrambled to evacuate. Local roads cracked and buckled under the intense heat while bog and ashfall began choking the atmosphere. USGS volcanologist Dr. Marcus Lee called the event one of the most powerful Kesu Lawia eruptions in the past decade, warning that lava, effusion rates are extremely high and could continue for days or even weeks. What we're seeing here is a deep, pressurized magma reservoir releasing all its built-up energy in one explosive surge, Dr. Lee explained. There's no sign it's slowing down yet. Emergency shelters are filling up fast as thousands seek refuge from the chaos. Officials urge residents to prepare for more lava outbreaks ash clouds, and potential volcanic gas exposure, particularly sulfur dioxide, which has already reached hazardous levels in some areas. With scenes eerily reminiscent of the catastrophic 2018 eruption that destroyed over 700 homes, fear and uncertainty have returned to the island, but so has resilience. National Guard units are en route, aid stations are being set up, and the people of Hawaii, tested before, are preparing to face the volcano's wrath once more.